traders engaged in the dominant textiles and garments business in downtown Kampala appeared trapped in the difficulty of not reopening their stores as a tax break they are seeking remains opaque successful. The Uganda National Chamber of Commerce and Industry says the new 10% surcharge on imported textiles is barely sustainable given the subdued demand from within the public. We've been to places like India, like Malaysia, like uh, Philippines. The whole of Asia actually is made of uh, cottage industries. But they didn't work, wake up in the morning and say stop or make it difficult for the traders and started uh, manufacturing. It is a process. Our view is that uh, yes, we should invest in manufacturing. But this person where you've imposed from 25% to 35 percent and the kilos. They are the same people who would invest in manufacturing. But then when you come up one morning and say, pay so much for what you brought in, what happens to the profits they would have used to invest in manufacturing. So to us, as the Chamber of Commerce, we support the government to push for industrialization, but also be mindful of these people. Olive Chigongo, the president of the Chamber of Commerce and Industry, is instead asking government to consider developing the production and semi-processing of the cotton sector before driving import replacement. There's nothing wrong with people paying taxes, but the government should give uh, consideration to these people. The reason being is that uh, we do not have a free trade textile factory, right? We do not have a trade spinning mill. You understand? Now, when you uh, come up in the morning and say, stop in Bote, because some people do it for, but like I saw what John was saying, with the government. of course the government is saying we should all go man manufacture, but you don't wake up in the morning and start manufacturing. Meanwhile, in downtown Kampala, most of the traders resumed business a day after a partial slowdown intended to draw government's concerted attention and action and cut back on the import levy from 35% on textile and garments. It is true that Honorable Kasaija has assured us at a high level of PSFU that the letter is going to be drafted latest tomorrow Friday. Therefore, we are not holding government at ransom. The purpose of the demonstration was to portray further that we are being affected and they have so seen. And as to that effect, they have announced that they are going to stop the charging of taxes in kilos. Government instituted the 35 import levy on textiles and garments in the 2021-2022 national budget up from 25% in a tax measure aimed at slowing down imports and protecting the few upper producers.